this video was made for people who are thinking of doing their flat roofs themselves on a do-it-yourself project uh, the firestone rubber cover EPDM membrane I've gone for the 1.52 millimeter thick membrane obviously it's the thickest one they do um, there is a, a smaller one which is a little bit cheaper a 1.14 millimeter but it's not worth worrying about the price difference and obviously the thicker one is going to be a lot better for you won't show so many lumps and bumps when you're finished here you can see the uh, lead flashing underneath the roof I've got to raise that in a minute and um, so I can get to the felting underneath here you can see the problem areas of what I've come to when obviously I've taken all the stone off there's a small split in the felt of the roof there's quite a few of these around and obviously moisture getting in and out and causing all the problems another part of the roof where I thought the main initial problem was is where I did a temporary repair last year the repair was made by a painting application purchased from B&Q it lasted for one year but hey we all learn by our mistakes when I took off the felt in this area most of the tiles underneath it and create created me quite a lot of problems I eventually had to remove the tar with a flamethrower bottle it was so hard on the wood obviously I might have damaged the wood by taking it off with a shovel um, use the gas ball to soften the tar and use a scraper to remove it here you see the um, first layer of tiles that need to come off obviously I need to take the lead flashing off underneath um, here on the side of the eaves the concrete will have to come off because obviously I need to put the e EPDM membrane underneath there as well and obviously we concrete later flashing there um, above the flashing you can see the tile um, felt which, which membrane will go underneath that as well below the roof felt you can see the existing flat roof felt where it's been uh, joined to, to the existing roof that needs to come off obviously so we can put the membrane underneath the roof felt and making a good adhesive there Here you can see the lead flashing obviously I pushed up in the air because it's concreted into the, the wall um, it's underneath the the the, uh, the main roof as you can see Here you can see once removing the felt that uh, we've highlighted the problems on the damp areas they're actually not in the right places where I thought they would be but obviously where they've been leaking they've been draining off into a certain area on the levelling of the roof uh, obviously giving me the problem I'm quite surprised where they were you can see where some of the damp patches have been some in the top left hand corner as you can see um, didn't see no cracks on, on the uh, roofing where I had that on the right hand side they were and as you can see where I made the temporary repair on the top right and um, that was the hard part to get off there there's a few patches there which was hard but not too bad once you get used to, to taking the stuff off just make a good clean job of it and um, sweep all the stuff off here's the membrane actually laid out it's not glued down yet it's just uh, laying out so the sun can actually warm it up and the folding lines can disperse making it a lot better when it's fixed to the roof obviously you need to to align it to make sure it's got the straight lines etc once you've started uh, doing your gluing uh, that's quite straightforward but I would advise people to use 
two people to lay the membrane out after the gluing has been applied. I encountered problems where I was doing it on my own, obviously because I needed to do it two corners at once. Um, eventually I did it, but I wouldn't advise you to do it one person only. It makes the job a lot better and obviously you don't want to start pulling your hair out do you? I didn't do the three corners three corners I left for for another day because I ran out of time it took me approximately 12 hours to to do what I did in that one day um, I hope this has helped you to decide if you want to do a flat roof yourself um, I advise it end of the day wasn't that hard work but time consuming yes two people would be a lot easier uh, the place where I found my uh, equipment for I needed to buy for the EPBM rubber roof membrane was a place called Rubber Seal um, you can see them on the internet www.rubber-seal.co.uk um, seems a very professional company uh, the equipment I, I ordered was delivered within 24 hours and everything went well I asked a couple of questions before buying it and got some really good answers they really helped me and on their website they've got some good installation guides that's the end of the video now and I uh, hope it helped you in making your decision and I uh, hope it all goes well for yourself thanks for listening goodbye